Let's see how to configure speed and duplex on a Cisco Catalyst switch port. And the speeds supported are going to vary Cisco Catalyst switch model to switch model. On this particular model of Cisco Catalyst 3750 series switch, I've got primarily fast Ethernet ports. In other words, they run at 100 megabits per second maximum. So I've got an option. I could set the port speed to either 10 megabits per second or 100 megabits per second. If I had a gig port, I could set it to 10, 100, or 1,000 megabits per second. Some switches have 10 gig ports. Context sensitive help can tell us what is available. Also, we can configure duplex. Full duplex allows us to transmit and receive at the same time. Half duplex is what is required if we're connected to something like an old hub where we're sharing a collision domain with multiple devices. That's probably not what we're doing these days, but if we are, we should be running in half duplex because that allows CSMA CD to work. Carrier sense multiple access with collision detection. CSMA CD not needed with full duplex. Keep in mind that speed and duplex can both be set to auto. We can auto negotiate with the other side of the link what speed we should use and what duplex we should use. And some people like to hard code the speed and duplex for ports that are connecting to other infrastructure devices. In other words, if you control the device at each end of the link, maybe you don't want to risk auto negotiation not working. I've seen auto negotiate not work before. And some people prefer to administratively control the speed and duplex on ports, again, connecting to other infrastructure devices. Ports going out to the users, though, user-facing ports going out to the cubicles, to the offices, where a user might be connecting a computer, a laptop, something like that. We're not quite sure how that device might be configured. In that case, many people prefer to use auto for those types of connections. Let's see how to set this up. Let's go into, for example, interface, fast ethernet, one slash zero slash five. And what options do we have for setting speed? 10, 100, auto. I'm just going to set this to auto. What options do we have for duplex? And we have auto, full, half. I'll set this to auto as well. Oh, and there's another parameter that's really useful here, and that is setting up MDIX. It may be enabled by default on your Cisco Catalyst switch, but here's what MDIX does. MDIX, here's what it stands for. It stands for Media Dependent Interface Crossover. And if you think about the wires inside of an RJ45 connector, the pins 1, 2, 3, and 6 in that connector are used for Ethernet. Two wires, two pins are used for transmitting, and two wires are used for receiving. What if you interconnected a couple of switches with a straight through Ethernet cable? That would mean that the transmit wires on one side connected to the transmit wires on the other side. That's not what we want. We want transmit on one side connecting to receive on the other side. Well, if we enable MDIX, that allows the port to automatically detect which wires, which pins in that RJ45 connector should be used for transmitting and which should be used for receiving. Here's how we enable MDIX. MDIX, and the only option is auto. We can check how we're currently set by doing a show interface followed by the interface identifier, Feist Ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 5, and we can see that we're set to auto duplex and auto speed. Nothing's currently plugged in, but when it is, we will attempt to automatically negotiate both speed and duplex and which pins should be used for transmission and which pins should be used for reception.